Hey everyone, today we're looking at the best custom enchantments plugin available for Spigot. It's called Advanced Enchantments and it has a ton of features, over 450 custom enchantments and the biggest feature of it, you're able to create your own enchantments. We'll get into that later, but first, let's go over the features. So the first feature we're going over and probably one of the biggest features of this plugin is getting enchantments from the enchantment table. So you can get enchantments for anything, for armor, for weapons, tools and uh, we'll just be going over a few right now. So it has enchantments not only for like the basic items but for elytra, tridents and stuff. So let's go over like the first pickaxe and here we go. Just enchant like that and you get custom enchantments as well as vanilla enchantments. So here we go, we got Bane Miner 3 and you can see that the description of the enchantments here as well it mines entire vines of ours and trench three so chance to break in three by three areas let's uh, go and see the trident it has a ton of custom enchantments as well so you can see poseidon one increases damage dealt with tridents and strife two so increases trident me melee damage let's go over to the netherite chest plate here we go we got two custom enchantments as well so absorb enemy damage and reflect it back so that's a reflect and ward a chance to absorb enemy damage as well it has a ton of custom enchantments as i mentioned over 450 and uh, it's easy to get from the enchantment table and the enchanter which I'll show later. I got myself a sword so we can enchant it as well. So you can see here we go, we got custom enchantments, a featherweight 2, you can see the description and the MLA 2. Depending on the enchantment level that you select you get random amount of enchantments and you can fully configure this in the configuration as you can see on the screen right now. You can change the chances and how many enchantments apply as well as actual pricing for the levels. So you can make them like harder, like the third level could be 50 enchantment levels worth not 30 so let's go over the plugin features real quick so it's the first picket custom enchantments plugin that allows you to create custom enchantments without any programming knowledge you're able to also download community enchantments from AE marketing game it has a few different packs of enchantments you're able to create enchantments with the website as well also integrated with villagers you can get enchantments through the random loot in the world it has enchanter tinker god kits it's used by the biggest minecraft servers right now a huge support team create armors sets with it plugin items so like these are the admin items we'll be going over through them later page is linked in the description get out there let's go over the next feature so the three next features are enchanter tinkerer and the enchants list so enchanter is a different way to get custom enchantments you open it you can select the type of enchantment that you want like this is fully configurable you can toggle and disable enchanter if you don't want it if you only want uh, the enchantment table so you just select the type of enchantment you want and you get these uh, orbs that you can right click and get the enchantments and you can see the description if i right click the book it has success and destroy chances here it goes slingshot too yeah elite for enchantment so yeah and you just buy enchantments through here I don't have enough experience for this buy this one and let's buy this one let's open it so it's pretty addicting and fun and the the point of this is to like balance it out so like you don't get the same enchantments or the enchantments you want so it adds a grinding perspective like the vanilla enchantments do to make your own best items like let's open these Death Punch and Hunter, yeah, and you can see right away in the chat uh, what they are about. So the Tinker, this is the Tinker. You're able to tinker items back for experience. If you enchant with the enchantment table, let's say, or just add these enchantments to items and you don't like them, so you just add them to the Tinker and you get from items experience bottles and from books secret dust. Let's see what this is about. So experience bottle, you just use it and you get experience, but you can use these to increase the book chances later. All of these failed for me, but once they succeed, you get the magic uh, dust that you can apply to books and increase uh, book applying chances. I'll go through them in the admin items later. So yeah, we have an enchantment list here as well. You're able to like see all the enchantments that this plugin has, go through the pages. This is also fully configurable. You can create your own enchantments. You can create your own enchantment groups. You can uh, change how this looks, the colors and stuff. So yeah, and this is accessible with slash enchants command as well, as well as uh, making NPCs like this on your server. Another big part of this plugin are the admin items and uh, it has a ton of admin items and uh, let's go over a few right now so the basic and most best ones really that change a ton of how game is played is like the item rename tag so you can rename items by just like I just right click it and next message will rename the item so rename the name let's say I can't rename this item so let's try this 
Oh yeah, I can only rename enchanted items. Like the next item is the one that I was talking about, elite magic dust. This is the dust that you can get from different groups and uh, from the uh, right clickable dust uh, I showed you. So this is the failed dust. This is the transmog scroll. So you're able to organize enchants by rarity on items. Elite randomization scroll. So randomize chances for custom enchantment books. Fish track creator. So we can track how many fishes you've caught with a fishing rod. Mob track. How many mobs were killed with the weapon. Block track, how many blocks were broken with the pickaxe. Black scroll removes a random enchantment from item. Tat track creator, track how many kills you have with the weapon. Elite slot increaser, so basically like there's different groups on increasers and you apply these on items to increase how many slots for enchantments they have. This is a different uh, type of uh, slot increaser and uh, I made it 1% success rate. You can customize and uh, do this with commands and stuff. So yeah, it adds uh, one enchantment slot to the item. This is white scroll, so you apply this to items and it saves the item when enchantment fails. Holy white scroll, you can see here you have a 100% chance to save the item on death so that's a really good feature and you could actually sell these like through the in-game store or the nation store soul gem so this adds souls to items and soul track creator you track how many souls were added to the item when player or mobs are killed and uh, these basically are like a virtual currency for custom enchantment let's go quickly over the default configuration that it has so it comes with a ton of configurable files menu and uh, basically everything and uh, let's just go through the config so you're able to like configure all the commands that it has permissions items how they look a ton of stuff like what applies where like the book destruction books how they look and these a ton of settings here as well to the anvil.yml you're able to apply custom enchantments with anvils you're able to like modify up to what level enchantments can be added to we have enchantments.yml file so this is where all the enchantments are stored and they're pretty simple enchantments like it's really easy to make you can see like the strike enchantment here so this would uh, strike lightning at the opponent so you can see what it applies to here and this this is how you make it it's super simple super easy enchantment table file you're able to change the chance of the enchantments i have shown you this before the enchant count the prices for the groups well ML, this is where you create your own groups like the simple unique you're able to customize everything with this you're able to like let's say i don't want fable i just delete this i just save it and that's it the group is out Loot configuration, you configure here what are the chances and where does the loot spawn. And mob heads, this is like the storage. Mobs.yml, so like this is the mob drops. You're able to configure what mob drops, what item. The menus here, let's go through the tinker. Like you're able to configure all the items here, all the messages, enchanter, here it is, like the prices, XP, money, then there's a ton of uh, different uh, payment options here. Uh, Alchemist is well and uh, custom commands that why is like, like this slash enchants command if you configure here you go you can configure colors and stuff uh, it has custom weapons that you can create your own or even uh, armor sets and uh, it's cool it's a really cool plugin i do recommend it and uh, check it out at the link in the description below thank you